Hi everyone, this is Singy from the Sanctum of the Soul, and today I've got with me the Adore Abyssal, Adore Abyssal Oracle, and um, this was actually part of, I think, a Kickstarter campaign that I, was it? I can't remember, but I know I got the other deck by the same author as well, that hasn't arrived yet. Um, so let's get to it. It came in um, a box, but the guidebook, guide booklet, um, is, you know, came separately. And rather than putting it at the bottom, this was placed at the top, which led to um, quite a bit of damage to it. Um, so I thought this could have been done a bit better. So the guidebook does contain the... Um, card meanings and they, they do give you ah so the, the, the cards are based on um, cryptids so I'm not sure how this relates because I haven't seen the deck yet um, so this is the second edition because I missed out on the first one so a very nice tin but uh, knowing the Singaporean climates, this is just going to rust soon. Yeah. So while I enjoy the whole um, metal tin thing, uh, you can see how the cards are rattling around inside. So this will, this makes me a bit nervous about bringing it out. I will probably be adding some paper or cotton or something like that just to make sure that the cards don't move while I'm out and I feel like this could easily have fit in there um, rather than have it as an external card you know book that's going to be unprotected I'm not sure where I'm even going to put this so that's that and I don't want to just be complaining throughout so let's look at the cards so these cards are pocket sized and um which I enjoy because sometimes I don't want to bring, you know, some heavy deck out. So I love pocket size decks. And the cards are very good quality. As you can see, the gloss is amazing. Yeah, this is an amazing quality deck. You can see the printing is just perfect. Um, for those of you who like glossy cards, you are in for a treat if you, because this is, yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit incoherent. And we've got, um, the cards aren't the thickest, but they are sturdy somehow. So I feel like this is going to last, especially when it's pocket sized. So it's not going to like get damaged that easily. Let's see if it cracks. Yes, I love that sound, where all the cards are freed up. So it's Alkanost Distraction. Anansi, the Spider God. Story. Be uh, Bekest. Bake Kujira. Bigfoot. Black Shock Kadeo Kadeho I, I I don't know how to pronounce that Kate Seed um basically like a cat fairy thing <laughs> Kerberos Cerberus I don't know Chupacabra that's the um that's the sheep sucker Demon, so that's very generic. We've also got Dullahan, that's the headless one. Inevitably, inevitability. Fairy. For what? Um, not sure what that is. Some kind of sea spirit, probably. Sounds very Celtic or Gaelic, maybe. Grootslang. I'm not sure what that is either. Is it German? Kurzlang? Huh. 
Hugin and Moonin, so that's Odin's um, twin ravens. Hydra, Ifrit, the fire spirit. Jersey Devil, Kitsune, Kraken, Lumpart, can't remember what this is but it sounds very familiar, Mermaid. So um, I forgot to mention this but I really love the simple um, not quite borders but the simple lines it doesn't you know it's very unobtrusive to the image it actually complements it very well because it gives it that structure but doesn't really you know impose a border on it so this it doesn't break the continuity of the the image also there is the elemental symbols beside each card so you kind of know what elements they are Mothman. Oh, that is the <laughs> that is the most adorable Mothman ever. I've also got Namatsu. If I'm even pronouncing it correctly, that's Nessie. Olgoi Gorgoi. Oh God, I'm so sorry for mangling all the different cultural names. I'm just not going to. <laughs> Phoenix Rusalka That looks like Medusa from um the Inhumans Sleipnir so that's the many legged horse I remember this Ah yeah there we go so eight legged horse Tsuchinoko Is that some kind of snake? Mm. Will o' the Wisp and Volpertinger. I don't know why I assumed it was German, but <laughs> oh, that is so cute. I can't even. All right, so um, I really like the cards. Honestly, this is amazing. The colors are rich. It is adorable, but not you know like. It, you know, there are some decks that just try too hard, but this one, I feel, um, doesn't actually try very hard. The, the cards are just, it's just this effortlessly um, adorable cards. And uh, the fact that there are symbols, um, the, like elemental symbols at least, on the cards makes me feel like there was effort um, put into it. And the cards shuffle really nicely. They are perfect for smaller hands and not slippery at all despite the high gloss so very easy to keep a grip on them let's see so i just want a reading um i'm not sure what the meanings are so i will read the guidebook after for this um first reading so <laughs> so what about a message for the month ahead? And let's see if there are any. Okay, this one. Oh, somewhere in there. Yeah, that one. Is there one more? So if you want to read reversals, it's possible as well, because it's symmetrical. Yeah, somehow it's just those cards. Oh, you have another card coming. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the one. Let's see. So, card number one, we've got Mermaid, and that's Commitment. So, of course, it's going to take a bit of commitment to um, further expand and develop my business. Ruin, so like the other deck, 
as well. It seems to talk about um, kind of a reversal or restart of um, progress. And that's, then there's control. So I'm not sure if the control here refers to getting controlled or being in control. And let's see, so there's duality. So I suppose that answers that question. That's that, that whole dynamic of, you know, being in control or being controlled. And I guess in a way when it comes to things like businesses, um, it is always that balance, isn't it? Like, do you control the market forces or do the market forces control you? Um, kind of a, a delicate balance there. I've also got glamour. So I suppose um, it is, you know, a period of being careful about images, about what you put out there and what other people are, you know, putting out there as well. And just not falling for that kind of... Um, I suppose trickery um, or illusion or facade uh, and, and at the same time perhaps um, you know a, a new branding Hydra struggle so there is going to be um, an uphill battle this month which the other deck more or less confirmed um, and uh, yeah that is to be expected considering the state of the economy and I suppose that's Companionship. Right, I feel like the two cards though. Envy. Oh, I love how like the card companionship has another card just stuck to it. So uh, there is going to be envy, but there is going to be companionship as well. And wow. Right, so it's going to be a little treacherous this month. So I will be very careful. That's what the other deck more or less it as well so when two decks say the same thing you better listen bitch so <laughs> yeah that's about it for um this review and flip through so i absolutely love the quality i think this is one of the best quality best made decks i've ever owned so i'm very 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 impressed and very pleased with the quality the artwork is amazing as well um it takes me back to like a childhood of you know humongous games where it's like pajama sam and freddy fish <laughs> yeah it's that, like that kind of um vibe so the energy is just very vibrant it's nothing you know nothing like most other cryptic decks or decks with monsters in it would be like um at the same time the tin is just very sturdy. I feel like it's going to last. I'm not sure if it's going to rust though in the humidity here, but that's fine. The only gripe I have is how the guidebook doesn't fit into the tin, um, especially given how much space there is in the thin tin. Um, I feel like you definitely could have fit this in there, but no matter. Um, yeah, absolutely uh, do recommend this deck. I think it's a great investment uh, for anyone who wants a, you know, a deck like that. And of course, if you have beginners, um, this deck is quite useful as well. It's not like extremely cryptic. Get it, get it. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Do give me a follow on my Instagram and my Facebook, which I will link below. I will link the website of um, the deck below as well. And I just realized that there isn't a mention of the author at all. Right, there we go. So it's Pixel Occult and James Brothwell. Yeah, so that's that. Have a nice day ahead. Thank you for watching. Bye.